Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's NHL slate uh, using uh, the TrueDFS Premium Sheets. We're going to build a, a single entry lineup, uh, and we're also going to use SaberSim to build a portfolio of lineups. It's a very, very big slate tonight. There's 14 games, and kind of a cruel joke. I mean, DraftKings uh, has reduced the prize pools for tonight, which is uh, kind of contrary to what they've been doing. I mean, they've been very, very good about putting together really big prize pools and they picked uh, a day where there was not much going on in the NBA, uh, for example, or no MLB tonight, I don't think, to uh, kind of uh, scale down the prize pools tonight. And for a 14 game slate, that's uh, that's a little annoying because you'd like to think that if you can get a 14 game slate right, uh, you got to do better than 5K for first. But nonetheless, uh, from, from a process perspective, we're going to go about this just kind of the same way. And the way we do that is we first we sort everything by sheets value score. And we just try to find kind of combinations of, of players that rate, you know, really high um, from the same team. And hopefully, if you look at columns K and L, hopefully from the same either even straight line or power play line or both. So um, let's take a look and we'll take a look at a couple of observations that I can kind of see. First thing I will notice is that, and this happens from time to time, you have kind of a standout one-off. And, and th in this case, it's Jacob Peterson. He's, or Jakob Peterson, he's uh, 3,100. And what's going to happen is he's either going to drag in some San Jose stacks or he's going to show up as a really, really strong one-off to go with four three stacks. Um, and it certainly makes a lot of sense to me. Um, the other thing, again, I'll notice is that Seattle, you have Jared McCann up the top and, and nobody else kind of here. So maybe he'll show up as a, as kind of an interesting one-off also. So what I want to do is kind of just, just, you know, hold back from this and see if there's kind of a combination of, of guys that are from the same team. And there's a couple I know is number one is the Rangers. So I'm seeing, well, maybe not even. So you have Sarasenko and Kreider showing up in this top group, but not much. You have two devils, three devils. All right. So the devils are interesting. So you look, look at Timo Meyer. He's on all, although the third even straight line, he's on the first power play line. And you'll have Jack Hughes is also on the first power play line. And then you'll have Nico Hershire, who's also on the first power play line, not to mention Dougie Hamilton, who's on the first power play line. So this is what stands out. When you are building a single entry lineup, to get something like this in a 14-game slate is pretty rare. So this could be a very, very strong start. Um, the other thing I'll notice, I guess, is that you have Elias Patterson and Kuzmenko, both from Vancouver that are in the top 10. So these, these could, this could be the start of a three-man or a four-man Vancouver stack as well. Um, but as far as, you know, single entry stuff, it, it seems as though you want to just start with his devils. Uh, and you'll probably end up with maybe using Jaco Peterson as kind of a one-off. But let's just take a look. Let's see what we can do. So let, let's pull up the DraftKings, um, uh, the DraftKings lineup builder here, and let's just see if we can build it. So let's take the Devils, and we'll just put all these guys in and see if we can afford it. Jack Hughes, Nico Hershiser, Timo Meyer, and Dougie Hamilton. Well, we have a problem. Uh, there, it leaves us 4K a player. So even if you find kind of a cheaper goalie like Tristan Jerry, put him in. I mean, now you're 3,200 a man. So my, my initial thought is, is that you could probably do this if you wanted to, okay? Because what I mentioned before is you do have kind of this, this slot him in one-off here. That would be Jaco Peterson. Uh, what would it be, Jacob? Uh, yeah, Jakob Peterson at 3,100. 
And now you only need to, to make it work with 3,200 a man. And if I'm not mistaken, there was another kind of cheapo that I noticed in the sheets. Let's take a look at this. Because if that's not going to work, we might have to take a cheapo from, from, um, from uh, New Jersey somehow to make this work. Let's just see. Jakob Peterson, anybody else in the threes? Yeah, you have Anastasio. He is 3,700. So let's put him in. He fits the wing. Where is Chicago? And what's good about this is it puts kind of a game, well, it doesn't game stack because we're not using the Vancouver's. So now at 3K a man, how can we make this work? Well, we have to find a cheapo defenseman and, and let's just take a look. This is what happens when you pay up for def defensemen like we're doing here. That was pretty challenging, but so you have Samuel Balduk from the uh, Islanders. He kind of stands out a little bit. And you have a couple of these other guys. Like, see, this is interesting. You have Thomas Bordalo coming from that same San Jose line um, that we're using Peterson. So this is actually really interesting. So if we use him, where was San Jose? Um, Bordalo. Now you could totally make this work. So now you have kind of a four or two. Uh, and then you just have to find a 3K defenseman, which is pretty easy to do. So yeah, from 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 a from a single entry perspective, you could play these devils and make it work. Um, do you want to do that? Uh, this is where you probably need to use Sabersim to kind of confirm that that's the type of lineup that you would get. Um, but it certainly looks good to me. So if this is like a four, three, and then uh, is it, no, actually it's more of a four, two, and maybe, who is it, Balduk? Kind of a one-off there. So you don't actually get like a really, you know, pretty looking stack. I wonder if there's any other Devils or San Jose guys that could make this work. Let's do a little investigating. Um, where is it? Where are my... Okay. San Jose, that's Bordalo. Mm, no other San Jose's. Any other Devils, maybe? Uh, it's looking it's looking grim. It's looking grim uh to get like a four three in. But the four two one one that certainly could work. Um, so that's where I would start. Now let's go into Sabersim and see what they would give. Because I have this feeling that Sabersim is going to take me in a different direction. I'm getting this feeling that if you play Sabersim, if you Sabersim. We're going to get more of the San Jose's or maybe even like the Vancouver's or something. But let's let's try it. So let's upload our projections into Sabersim. And we'll build 50 lineups. Oops. We don't want the NFL. And Kenji's okay, out. I'll take that later. Let's build 50, well, let's build 30 lineups. And let's see what we're, we're gonna get. Yeah, so here we're, wow, wow. We're, what Saberson wants to do is actually grab, well, that's not true. It wants to grab these, these, these Jersey guys. So 70% New Jersey, filling it in with the Islanders, I guess using that Samuel Bulldog play to drag in some Islander stacks. And I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Okay. So uh, it is good to see that you can get your, <laughs> that the stuff that you can build by hand, even on a 14 game slate is the stuff that's going to show up when Saberson builds it for you. So I would be probably confident in doing something like I did with the Devils, but you could use these Islanders as your complementary stack and make that work.
Um, probably wouldn't play 70% devils, by the way. I'll probably do something like maximize at 50 or something like that. So you get Islanders, devils, you know, stuff like that. Um, okay, so I'm going to be going live maybe at six uh, to, uh, if, if I remember to go over some NHL, I will. But this is the process that I use literally every day. And hey, the other day, if you were following it, we took down both the kick save and the top shelf using this exact process. So we shall see. Uh, that's it. Good luck, everybody.